Hi, Tom from bknutrition.com and in this video I want to talk about why exercise should always be fun. Now when I say fun, I don't mean a kid's game in a, in a school playground fun. What I mean is you should enjoy your workouts, whatever you are doing. I am a bodybuilder. I like going to the gym lifting weights. I like pumping iron and like getting uh, lots, of, uh, lots of blood in my muscles and looking, and looking as buff as I possibly can. I have a friend who likes doing triathlons. All she does is run, swim, and do bikes. She's not really interested in doing a lot of um, lot of weights in the gym, although she does do it as part of her program. And I have another friend who likes to swim. I have another like, friend who likes to do 5Ks. Now we all do our respective exercise that we enjoy doing, and we all, when we're thinking about what other people are doing, we're thinking, oh, I could never do that. That's not really not my thing. However, very often when you're looking at body transformation programs, there will be things on there which you have to do, which you don't like. And I don't agree with that. I don't agree with these programs that say, you must go out and do these exercises, you must go out and do this, you must go for this you know, two mile walk or whatever every day. Because activity should be fun for what you do. You should enjoy it. Now, similar how I talked about in a previous video about that you should only eat foods that you like, you should only do exercise that you like. So I like going to the gym lifting weights. I am not a fan of running in the wet, in the cold. I'm not a fan of swimming in a swimming pool. And if I did those activities, I would probably only do it for the minimum amount of time possible in order to just tick the box. Now, sometimes I take my son swimming and that's a little bit different for me because I'm looking to exercise at that point. Um, but I do go to a swimming pool every now and again, but it's never to really burn calories or to, or to really um, do like a workout as such. Um, but if, if you are forced into doing a certain exercise to lose body fat or build muscle, then you will, you will not do it to, to the extent that you need to to get the results. The same as if you're eating a, a diet with food that you don't like, you will not look forward to eating those meals. You will, you will actually start to more cheat on your diet because you're not liking the foods you're eating every day. Same with the exercise. If you are not liking the exercise that you're doing, what's more likely is you're going to go off and do something else or actually not even go to the gym at all because there's no motivation. You, it, no one likes being punched in the face and you're not going to go somewhere where you know you're gonna be you know, punched in the face metaphorically because you don't like the exercise. And the same as a lot of trainers when they're training their, their clients will, will take very great pleasure in almost training them to death so they're dead. Now, if the client wants that, that's fine. If the client doesn't want that and all they want is to just do a little bit of a workout to feel better, then killing them nearly half to death is not going to encourage them to come back for a second second workout and that trainer's lost that, that that client so if you are looking to do any sort of exercise program any sort of weights program in the gym or anything else then make sure you're going to enjoy that program now even if you're going to the gym because my, my my territory is the gym so i'll talk about gyms if you're going to the gym there's lots of things you can do in the gym which is not what you would typically think of as a gym workout so i own a gym in bristol and uh, in our in my gym i have heavy lifting machines i have cable machines i have machines which are just flip switches just push and pull on them and i have a studio kitted out with a with a ton of cardio type kit now i very rarely venture into the studio to do the cardio type workouts um, i very rarely use the the flip machines because i like lifting with free weights and that's the sort of workout i do i don't really enjoy doing battle ropes i don't really enjoy pushing sleds up and down although i i have done it before but it's not something that's really caught my interest but if my, if i was only allowed to do those sorts of workouts or i was pushing a sled or battle ropes or something else i would very quickly not want to go to the gym anymore so and, and so this comes back to if you're trying to do an effective body transformation you must have your diet in place which foods you like you must have activities in place that you like doing if you're not doing activities you that you like you will not do those activities and eventually you're going to prefer to maybe stay at home or even go out and eat something at a restaurant because you can't be bothered to go to the gym but if you stayed at home you're going to get moaned at by your partner for not going to the gym so you might go out to say McDonald's or something instead, just to sit there for the hour that you're supposed to be at the gym. That sounds stupid. I had a client that did that for ages and until we changed their workout program because they didn't feed back to me, they didn't like it, um, they, they weren't getting the results they wanted. Once we changed it and they had a different workout program, they absolutely loved it and lost weight very quickly. So please do find something that you like doing don't just do a workout because some guru coach has said that's the workout for losing body fat or building muscle. There are a million ways to lose body fat with exercise. There are a million ways to build muscle with exercise. 
You don't have to do a specific exercise or a specific routine in order to get that result. So that's principle two of my six principles for an effective body transformation. Do not do exercise that you don't like. Burpees, I hate burpees, I would never do them. Don't do burpees if you don't like them. Don't lift weights if you don't like them. Don't do things that you don't like. Always do things that you do like and you'll get better results and you'll be more enthusiastic about doing that. Now, if you have never exercised at all and you're, first, and you're getting into exercise, what I would suggest is go very, very slowly. Just go to the gym for about five to 10 minutes every day just to build up that habit of going. Many people, and I have covered this in another video, many people when they go to the gym for the first time, they will go in and try and do like an hour's cardio and an hour's weights and everything else and get it all done in, in, in like two or three hours. And they'll go home, be sore for days, and they'll never go back to the gym because they feel what a, what a horrible experience. When I work with the same um, very overweight people who want to lose weight, and this is generally men who want to get back into exercise and lose weight and build, body, build, build a, a muscle on their body, what they tend to do is because they're a man, they tend to go to the gym, try to do everything, uh, and, then, and then they fail. So what I've done with clients in that situation where they're completely new to the gym is they just go to the gym to five or 10 minutes, and even the first couple of times they're going, they're not going to exercise. All they're going to do is to sit down in the gym, get used to the habit of going to the gym, get used to the habit of seeing the people there, saying hello to the people there, because once they are um, accepting of the environment and they're, they're comfortable in the environment, then they can start exercising. And then it starts with just, say, a couple of, say, five to 10 minutes on the treadmill just to get them in the habit of exercising. And then from there, we build up and build up and build up. And I've done this with other clients where they've, we've done this exact same thing, and now those clients are smashing 45 minute workouts in the gym and then doing a 5K later on in the, in the week. And that's better than I can do, I would never do a 5K. So, so it's very, very easy to build up those habits, but start small, build up, and then eventually you will love what you're doing and you'll be, uh, you, you will not even think about the person you were where you didn't like exercising. So I hope that's helped. It's principle two, make sure exercise is always fun. If you're new to exercise, start off very slowly, start off doing stuff that you're comfortable with and build up from there. Remember, you don't, you don't run a mile in a day. You don't, on the first time you're doing the running, you don't do it in a day. It's very, very uh, slow. It's a lot of practice. The same with weights, the same with any other exercise you're doing. You have to start slow and build up. Um, so I hope this video was helpful. Um, Please like, share, comment, whatever you need to do, and, um, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks.